Good evening. So Mark here from Frontier Life Outdoors and Adventure and here we are in the woods in Lincolnshire ready for a night out under the stars or at least under the tarp. And the reason I'm bringing you the video is because I wanted to review this. This is the Budget Alpine 2 from Yellowstone. Uh, £40 worth of tent or less. Um, certainly I paid £35 plus a couple of quid to post it and package him. And it really does sit down at the bottom end of the budget for a two-man uh, hiking tent. This one um, weighs in at around about two kilos and is waterproof, supposedly. And I don't think we'll honestly find out its full capabilities tonight, but I'll bring you another review as and when it sticks out in the rain. So that's that one. Later on in the week, hopefully we'll bring you a review of this one as well. Now this is the Quetcher Quick, Hike, uh, Quick Hiker Ultralight um, from Decathlon, obviously. Um, much smaller straight away, a much bigger waterproof rating as you would have imagined but it does come in at a price tag of £80 more than this one at £120. So we'll really see the difference um, at the end of the review. So let's crack on with it. As you can see, quite a flimsy bag I would say, but it does the job. There is quite a bit of space at the extra end, so if you wanted to, you could really wrap this up. And it weighs in at two kilos, like I said, and it does feel lighter than two kilos, I won't lie to you. Um, I haven't had it on the scales, but it doesn't feel bulky, it doesn't feel cumbersome, and certainly it came in my rucksack alongside everything else. Let's open it up. So on first inspection, everything seems as it would. And here's the tent pegs. Let's have a look at these tent pegs. It's always a measure of the quality of a tent, I feel, by the sort of tent pegs that they give you. Yeah, and as I suspected, your standard light aluminium tent peg. Um, the ground here is pretty soft today, so that's not gonna be a problem. If anything, they might pull out, I guess. Um, I've got some better tent pegs in my bag, should it come to it but they'll probably do a job. Let's have a look at this then. So, this is where I'm skipping for the night. We've got the fly sheet here by the looks of things. Uh, let's have a look at it. You know what, on first inspection, everything seems as you would anticipate. It's pretty lightweight, um, but the stitching looks okay. It looks okay, and the zips, they do look lightweight again. But they've kept weight down to two a minimum, which is always nice, isn't it? We'll get to that one in a second. Move all this out of the way. And here is our inner. With the one tent pole to put it up. Now, I've seen other videos of these being set up and it does look really simple. Um, I haven't done this one yet, so this is its maiden voyage. You know what, on inspection, the tent pole, the tent pole looks okay. There's a number of reviews online, on YouTube and such, which say that the tent pole snaps on its first outing. Um, I'm hoping not to prove that one right tonight because it's all that I've got to kip in. But I can't see how, unless it was faulty and already had a crack, it would go first time. Famous last words, eh? Now I've already swept the area, as you would expect, and as you can see. There we go. I'm not putting a footprint down because the ground is pretty soft, and like you say, I've swept it. So a decent size straight away. What I can tell you is that it is pretty wide, which I like. Um, I wanted it to fit a bit of kit, um, as well as myself. It is a two man, but I can guarantee you there's only one person sleeping in this tent tonight. So let's get a couple of these pegs in, just to hold it firm. We've just put the tarp up, just because we like a bit of a, an admin area, should it rain. Um, and I know I've just arranged it like this because the door is on the left-hand side. 
So when I step out, if it is drizzling or whatever, at least I'm going to stay dry. Hopefully I'll stay dry during the night because the rain's, uh, the tent's going to keep you dry. You never know. We are in UK after all. So that's going nowhere. In with this. Now, let's have a look how this works. Okay, so just feed it through the loop here. It does say 10 minutes to set up. Um, now obviously I'm doing the video here, so I'm gonna take my time a little bit more. But I can imagine why they would say 10 minutes. I mean, it's pretty simple to construct. So here's the moment of truth then. Does the pole snap first time? I won't lie to you, I'm a little bit nervous. With these. So there it is. Um, obviously not finished. I'm gonna put the fly seat on, but the inner is up. And you know what, I'm pretty impressed. It's, uh, it's so far, it's held up. I mean, that is the basic requirement of a tent, isn't it? To at least stand on its own. I'm just adjusting the, uh, I'm just walking into the bungee is what I'm doing. I'm just adjusting the pegs here just to get a little bit of tension. I don't want to pull it too tight around the bottom. I'm aware that, you know, it's a 40 pound tent. I think if I was too heavy handed with it, well, I don't know, but it, it has the potential to damage, of course. Or maybe that's just me being stereotypical of 40 pound tents. On with the fly sheet. Now, I haven't actually tried this before, but I did read online that there were some ties to attach. So I'm just looking for those. If I go a bit quiet, it's because I'm thinking. I'm a man, I can't multitask. Sorry to all the blokes out there that can multitask. I think you're lying. There we go. I'm just going to do a simple bow on there. He says. It's actually quite fiddly. It's quite fiddly, the material's quite slippery. Plus one, I'll just nip over to the other side. Bungee again. I think I'd remember that was there after the first time, yeah. And here it is. Yeah, I've got to admit, the instructions that came with the tent weren't fantastic, and had I not looked online, I might not have known exactly what to have done. Um, but hey, to experience bushcrafters and campers like yourselves, it's a walk in the park. Okay, let's get this pegged out. Do this back up so I can get a bit of tension in it. The zips, funny enough, don't feel as if you need to be careful with them. Um, they don't strike me as that they're going to fall apart in a heartbeat. Put that right in the right place, isn't it? It's a bit awkward. What I might do is just once the video's ended, is I might just readjust and tie that with some paracord away from the tree. But certainly for the time being, it's fine. Mm. 
you know what, I whinged about these temp pegs, but they're actually holding out okay. Jamie's kit here is a admin disaster in the field. I shouldn't say it too loud, he's my cameraman today. Alright, a couple more. How are we looking? Just one more this side, I feel. And there's I crash towards the camera. Obviously, a couple of pegs left over for the dry ropes. I'll do them in a second. But how long did that take me? Was anybody timing me? Um, probably around about 10 or 11 minutes, I would have thought. Just under. So let's do the MTV style bit. And, uh, and I'll invite you into my crib. Uh, it's quite exciting for all of us. Because never actually seen it. Yeah, the zips I feel like I might need to go a little bit easy on. Ah, so there's my first mistake. There's a little clip there just to hold the inner out to the post. Um, I can see, annoyingly, that there's one on the other side, so I'll have to peg that out in a minute, but I'll do that after the video. It's a 30 second job. You know what, so far, for 40 pounds, in a relatively benign environment such as this, it's looking decent. Yep, yeah, again, a decent zip. Don't feel like I need to be too careful. The wildlife's just kicking off. Uh, so if you just come down here and have a look, you can see the amount of space that's in the tent. So, I'm six foot, just virgin on six foot one. And oh, there is stacks of room in here for me. Stacks and stacks. So that's a little bit perhaps frustrating that the inner is a little bit baggy. Maybe that's in part due to this, which I think I could probably manipulate. Yep, from inside. But once I'm laid down, there's loads of space. Maybe a few modifications to tighten this up, but likewise, maybe just a few adjustments with the tent pegs will do. So there it is, guys. A 40 pounds budget two-man tent. It looks the part. It certainly went up easy enough with no instructions. So I guess that's all for now. Um, I'll put all of the technical spec that came with the tent in the blur above the post. And I'll let you know how I get on. Maybe I'll just post a, a little update to Facebook tomorrow morning. You know, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain at all. Um, will it keep a badger out and all the dangerous carnivorous animals around in the Lincolnshire area? Probably so. But I'll let you know. For now, take it easy. Uh, get out there, explore the area that you're in, and have a good night. Cheerio.